getting ready to head out around the Murata Peninsula. And we're off. Today's adventure is a 120 kilometer bike ride around Kanagawa's Murata Peninsula with a visit to Jogoshima Island for sightseeing and lunch. So we're heading down the Kamakura coast right now. Over to the right, you'll see a big peninsula. That's the Miura Peninsula. We're gonna go straight across the peninsula, Jushi, and then circle around the whole peninsula and come back. Should be about 100, just over 100K, 120K. We're here at Zushi Beach. This is the beginning and the ending of the loop. We're about 12 kilos in, so we'll be repeating this going the opposite way at the end. Finally, I'm along the ocean. To our left over there is Tokyo Bay. So this is the Kurihama Ferry. Take you over to Chiba. I've taken it a couple times. Actually, I'm going to do another trip up the Chiba coast. But uh, get on the ferry here, it takes you, I think, 40, 45 minutes. They could take cars on the ferry. We're at the beach. I wanted to be on the beach. We're at the beach. We're at Mira Kaigan Beach. Kugenama Kaigan Kari Yakosuke Ite, Ima Kugenama Kaigan Beach Zoe de Karimas. Ato Niju Nanaju Kiro Gurai Kana. Kyo Ame Futurutamotanoni, Sugoi Atsui. Atsui. So I stopped in the little Yamazaki here. There's a sweet lady in there. I wanted a bento, but she doesn't have any. But I got this little uh, rice ball thing. Actually, not rice ball, it's mochi. Pounded rice. Maybe raisins or something in it? I'm not sure. Got some mugi cha. I need to start drinking, I said earlier. I got some mugi cha, which is a uh, wheat tea, no caffeine, but sweat, which is like Gatorade. It's got uh, electrolytes. This is exactly what I need today, so I'm gonna fill up my bottles with this stuff. Eat a little bit of this and get back on the bike and start looking for a fish restaurant again. So after I further investigation, I found this is not Chocolate is red beans and they're fantastic. I'm gonna go and grab another one before I go. Very good. Good stuff. Fantastic. I am down here on the southern tip of the peninsula in the middle of the fields and suddenly I feel like I'm in Okinawa again. There are fields all around me, Ojisan yellow plate farmer trucks, beautiful ocean views, and it's hot. This blue roof tunnel marks the entrance of the Jogashima Bridge. Here we go, heading to the island. Heading out to Jagashima. As you can see, this is a fishing village. There are lots of boats and seafood processing places for the fishermen. Also, lots of seafood restaurants for the tourists. This little covered area is where you get your Jagashima souvenirs. Shells, t-shirts, snacks, and even some fruits and veggies from the local area for you to take home. Through the souvenir gauntlet and follow the road about 100 meters back to the Kanagawa Kenritsu Jogoshima Park where you'll find the Jogoshima Lighthouse, rugged rock formations, beautiful blue water, and usually lots of fishermen.
After a ride around the area evaluating my lunch options, I decided to stop in this local restaurant for Magurodon and a rest. <laughs> Magurodon, going in. So I may have just had the best magro I've had in my whole life right here. Melts in your mouth. I've had a lot of magro. I like magro. I love sashimi, sushi. I noticed they have unidon, which is uni on top of rice after I left, but uh, I'll have to save that for another day. I'll come back again. Heading out on the 55 kilometer ride back to Fujisawa, I ran into the Urari Seafood Market with a nice boardwalk, waterfront restaurants, and as the name implies, a seafood market inside. The boardwalk is supposed to be packed in the summertime. I'll be back in the summer for a full report. I like it down here. Come down here and hang out. The west coast of the Mira Peninsula is an old meets new experience with centuries old fishing villages nestled up next to marinas full of high end yachts. Nice boats, nice marina, nice houses. So you must end. Yeah. <laughs> Where I live, I ride on the ocean a lot. When I see a lot of people, I say sinimasen, but what I really should be saying is arigato. Instead of saying, I guess, sorry, because I'm not sorry. I'm glad I'm riding down this road. But thank you for stepping to the side for me, so I can safely pass you. It's about... Oh, cool. Little beach here, beach houses, beach. Wow, all these little roads probably go to awesome beaches. Another marina down there. Japan never disappoints with its clean and plentiful public restrooms. Heading home trying to beat the sun, I reflected on what a day it was. With predictions of rain all day, I was packed down with rain gear and ended up getting a beautiful sunny day. I now know there are tons of things to see and do on the Mira Peninsula, and I need to get back down there soon. I will be back to Jogashima for more seafood for sure, and will hit up the Urari Seafood Market and Boardwalk also. I could easily spend a day or even a weekend exploring all the little roads and footpaths that head down to the ocean between Jogashima and Zushi. With over 50 kilometers ahead of me and a fast moving sun, I flew by on my bike and missed the hidden beaches, shops and cafes I would like to spend more time checking out at a more leisurely pace. To my left is the Hayama Imperial Villa. They keep it pretty hidden from the outside, but I bet on the inside there are beautiful views of the ocean, Enoshima and Fujisan. If this video has convinced you to pack your bags and head down here, I have put Google Map links and the names of the places I have visited in English and Japanese in the remarks below. If you have enjoyed my Mira Peninsula riding adventure, please subscribe, like, and share down below so you don't miss the next adventure. See you next time! I said I would be back, and true to my word, I made it back to Jogoshima the next day for Unidon. <laughs>